Hello, welcome to the co-op scoop. We will be covering the last three weeks of Arsha's suspension today. And yes, that is a spoiler. Today we got the email saying that Arsha will not be the executive director of the co-op anymore. We covered everything that was out there about the suspension and there's not much to say really at this point. In the first letter Ursha's lawyer sent, a threat of a lawsuit could be felt. If that happens, we would hear about it. Other than that, uh, Board President Josh also says in his letter that it is a legally sensitive situation, so we will see what happens. This whole process seems like it could have been more peaceful, like a process where we wouldn't have to cover all those documents. But during this time, we also saw an increase in excitement and collaboration at the co-op. And half of Josh's letter also focused on the rising cooperatism that we had recently. Recently. And I guess we can continue doing our best for our community and wait for any other updates that may come up about Arisha's termination. In the last video, I had mentioned that we would be responsible for paying the transaction fees when we pay for our room and board payment with card, but that doesn't apply to cash or check. And in this episode, we have Brian Pham with us again, the chair of audit committee, this time showing us how to write checks for the co op. Hello. Hello. I would like to pay my rent. Yeah, sure. Uh, may I pay in credit card? Uh, yes, you can, but you should know that we have 3% transaction fee now for oh. credit cards. Okay, um, can I pay in debit card? Uh, yes, but with that we have 2% transaction fee. Okay, uh, how about a checkbook? Yes, perfect, no transaction fee. <laughs> awesome, let's try. Hi, my name is Brian Pham, Audit Committee Chair, and I'm here to teach you how to write a check. So, the first thing you want to do is know that checks are not free, so I'm going to try to save you as many as you can. The first thing you want to do is take something and put it under your check so that ink doesn't bleed through. That'll help you preserve all the other checks. And so first thing you do is write today's date. Today is the third. And you always want to uh, spell out the entire year because that helps protect against certain frauds. Okay. Now it says pay to the order. You want here. You want to write the entire. You want to spell out University Cooperative Housing Association. Okay. You want to be sure you spell out the entire thing. Here, you want to spell out the amount of money you want to pay. So in this case, I'm going to pay $600, so write 600 and then you write the word and, and you also have to say how many cents you want to pay. In this case, I want to pay zero cents, so I'm going to write, write it like this, zero, zero, over a hundred. For example, if you want to pay three cents, you would write zero, three, over a hundred. Now this box is the most important one, because this is going to be read by... Uh, machine, so it's really important that you write this extremely neatly. So I'm going to write 600, and to make it clear for the machine to read, you want to write the number of cents in small numbers up in the corner there. This will pre help prevent the machine from thinking you're trying to pay 60 grand. So now, for where it says for, but you might want to say rent because this is what it's for. And then you want to say your room number. So there's my room number. And then finally, your deposit number. And then finally, the only thing better than collecting money is collecting autographs. All right, thank you very much. And I hope you go out and write those checks. What else happened in the last three weeks? Kitchen Committee has members now. Ilya, Rodrigo, Constance and Adam are in the Kitchen Committee. And we also have gardening crew now. Even though it is a one-member crew, thanks to Ben, our limited amount of grass will stay green. And we also have a new security crew chief. Tom checked out and Jay is our new security crew chief. Thank you, Jay, for this footage. Hey, man. Looks lost. He's so flying for lunch. Confused. Okay. Okay, he's taking a piss. I think. Takes off his hat. Why is he taking off his hat? Is he. Oh. Steve. 
<laughs> yeah, Stephen. He's just standing there. <laughs> okay, that's well, when Stephen. He said he, he shouted. He looked kind of upset, to be honest. And he puts on his cap again. Why did he take off his cap when he was pissing? Yeah. Maybe he was hiding from the cameras. <laughs> I think that video really cemented Co-op's image as the urinal of Westwood. Another update is about paper cups. We won't be having paper cups in the kitchen anymore. Again, both monetary and environmental reasons. Uh, you can pick up your ceramic mug at the office, just like we do with the silverware. And there have been an alternative renovation going on in Robison. First of all, the very old, very bad looking couch is thrown out. Uh, lobby looks better now. We have tables uh, for people to study. Um, free closet is cleaned. Uh, there are new sections in the free closet now. So if you're putting your stuff down, please consider to put them in the right places. And also, please check free closet out. There is a lot of stuff there right now. Bailey's proposal to paint a mural in Beaving is accepted and we can hear that from her now. Hello and welcome to B-Wing. You may have never seen B-Wing before, but it is the tiny little room in B-Wing. Today I'd like to inform you that we have set up tables and chairs and you can come spend time here in very, very small groups with all of the dead moldy bugs and the spiders. What else has changed is that soon there will be a mural against this far wall. The mural will look similar to this painting. So come by and check out B-Wing in no more than groups of three. Uh, we also have a new swing. Uh, the other one we had was a one-person swing and Jared made a new one uh, out of the wooden pieces that we had painted at the beginning of last year to make tables. And now we have a swing that can fit three, maybe up to four people even. And quarterly work hours was accepted. It is back. It was something co-op had in the past. It is basically having uh, four hours per quarter as a shift but not like a kitchen or facility shift, but a project that you would like to do for co-op to make things better at the co-op. And Will had proposed this and he will be organizing it as well. Next week he'll be explaining you how it works. And we have our new mugs. We have five different types and they all have vintage logos of co-op on them. Uh, you can get them from the store for eight bucks. And yeah, before um, today's episode finishes, we also have a weather report. Yeah, Sam is back and Mark was back. Rest in peace, Mark. I don't think you are what we're looking for right now, Sam. We want him. We want Mark. Okay, I want him too. Sam, this is why we're making all this money. Thanks to Mark. We have Mark's name on these checks. People want him. Take People a look. want him on him on all these YouTube videos. The numbers don't huh. lie. We know where Mark is. I can find him. Okay, good. Could you find him in 24 hours? I can do that. Okay, that's good. And if you bring Mark, you're in as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Boys, you can take him now. But teach him a lesson before he leaves. Take him! Ah! Fuck! Oh. Take him, bro! Oh. Now get out of here and wear a mask! Oh. Get the fuck out of here! Mark! Mark!
Mark! Mark! Mark! Please! Come back! Yeah, you guys treated me like shit. I'm not really down. Look, look, the fans need you. I need you. We're gonna get killed. I'll start. Yeah. Both on chops. I'm kinda pissed that you guys uh you gave Will that award. When I would sacrifice my body to report the asbestos. Look, I know we gave you cancer, set you on fire. You, you got a little wet. I see why you're you're pissed. Now admit, it was despite you. Just please. For the fans. Just me. No one's as brave as you. Alright. Fine. Alright, let's go. Welcome to History Time with Jared on the Road. And I, uh, oh, fuck! Ah, welcome back to the Coop Scoop Weather Group. I'm Sam, I'm back. Uh, it's hot as hell outside, but we got Mark, too. Mark, tell us how hot it is. Thanks, Sam. It's so good to be back here outside Triple H, and it's a doozy outside. Super hot. We're seeing 100 plus weather degrees outside. You know, so hot that I'm starting to melt here, like actually starting to melt. Oh, God. <laughs> 